be all in, this is a high stakes game. If your state of being, your state of realization, your state of consciousness is not your number one priority, then life will have its way with you. You see, so if you wish to generate a different life, if you wish to free your consciousness up, your vibration up, your feeling state up, and with that change your circumstances rapidly, if you wish to live a super accelerated life, you have to let go of circumstances. You have to be aware of your vibration and learn to very, very consistently, very constantly choose your preferred state of being, regardless of what you see. Because what you feel right now is what you're going to attract to yourself. You have to be focused in what you want to see. You have to see only your preference. As soon as you can prioritize that, as soon as you gain that wisdom, everything starts to change and accelerate. Right now, what are you sending out into creation, into your reality? And what would you like that to become? If you are always in the imaginative state, you will attract to yourself the things you desire that much more rapidly than everyone around you. So keep planting new seeds constantly. How do you do that? Right now, what excites you the most to imagine? Go. Cool. At some point, you'll get those glimpses that you hit the right spot. You imagine something and it's like a wave of bliss comes over you. That's the state we're supposed to be in all the time. So constantly, constantly plant new seeds. Don't stop planting new seeds. And at first it might be hard because you can only think of one or two things that you desire. But I promise you, as you kickstart this, you will reactivate more and more of your passion. And the more you're connected, the more you're able to carry newer, higher vibrations, the more you're able to carry the torch of the one's desire to express itself in all the ways that it can. And the more your body, your vehicle, your mind, your circumstances, your life, your finances, your resources, all start to take on a tone of being able to carry a greater flow of frequency, a greater amount of abundance. A greater amount of dreams can be made manifest through the being, through the consciousness that we call you because you're opening up to your passion, you're opening up to your desire. So if you're constantly generating new seeds of consciousness, new ideas, new imagination, then you're automatically not waiting to see what happens to the seeds you planted right before this moment. The physical present is always the past. So do not focus on what is. What is, is a reflection of what was. So if you focus upon what is, you're actually in the past. Create something else. Generate something new. Always be in that future presence. When you realize that what you truly want is to feel good, things start shifting for you very quickly. And here's the thing, if you really prioritize how you feel, your focus starts to shift naturally, automatically from the physical to the non-physical, from the what is to the future presence. And then very effortlessly, you start to generate all these things you've always desired, but you've resisted by having such a tense grasp on the physical. So learn the maturity, learn the wisdom of really appreciating, being really grateful for the moments when you feel really, really good. And just let that fill you up. Let that be your freedom. Let that be the confirmation that you're being successful vibrationally, energetically, spiritually. Feeling good is always the highest. And you can master your state of being at any given moment. It's up to you. You have free will, you have choice. So be in the state of future presence with your consciousness. In other words, when you're generating a state of being that you enjoy, utilizing images that don't seem to be here. You become very present to the nature of consciousness. You become very present to the fact that you exist right here, right now. You become very present to being alive. Your vibratory state becomes very conscious. All you know is that you are creating and that you are in bliss and that you are one with all that is and that you have access to infinite abundance and that you are living your passion and that you are infinitely worthy of being you in whatever way you desire to be you. Again, this is not for the faint of heart. You will run into your beliefs as you keep moving, as you keep expanding, as you keep accelerating. You will run into your negative beliefs. This is not a reality. This is an invitation asking you, do you wish to have faith? Do you wish to have trust? Are you all in? If you're all in, you can live the super accelerated life. If you're not all in, forget about it.